Всем привет, друзья, с вами Not In My House. Мы продолжаем выпускать контент с 9-го International. И сейчас здесь со мной игрок команды Newbie, CCNC. Uh, hello, sir. Hello. Um, great to have you. Thanks for joining us. Um, how has been going? What do you like about this day? Um, I mean, it's going good. I'm very thankful we made it to the upper bracket. It was uh, very close, squeaked in at the very end. Um, it's, been, it's been a lot of fun, been some crazy games, a lot of Mega Creep comebacks. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm just glad to be with a group of guys that, you know, are very enjoyable to play with. And, you know, and I think we can, we can make a deep run. Yeah, a lot of analysts and a lot of uh, viewers, I would say, didn't suppose you to perform so well. Uh, did you suppose that? Um, I felt like we definitely had the potential to, uh, to make up a bracket and to, to do well. We had good scrim results. I felt like, you know, we have a good support team behind us. We have, you know, a TI winner as our coach. Um, I felt like we definitely have the potential. And I think well, we've, been, we've been doing pretty well, but I think we can, uh, we can do better. We're going to try and show that. Yeah, um, I think so. Um, let's go back to the group stage and talk about it um, for some words. Um, what was uh, the hardest game? What was the easiest one? And um, you can just share your, your brief feeling about this stage of the tournament. Uh, did it uh, go well for your team? What do you think? Um, hardest game? I think it was probably the Mega Creep comeback versus LGD. They're an insanely good team. Um, and it was it was very back and forth throughout. We made a lot of mistakes that sort of put us in the unfortunate position of being mega creep. But um, we ended up pulling out in the end. It was super satisfying to win that game. And you know they're obviously an amazing team. Um, easiest, I'm not really sure. I think every team at this tournament is very very good, and you don't really get any pushover games. That's sort of the you know the cool thing about TI is that every game is is very good. Um, what was the, the, the last part of the question? I forgot. Um, the last part, uh, what the, um, the brief feeling of the group stage? Um, Did you think you showed a lot or you have some, uh, some surprises for your future opponents? What do you think? Um, you know, we'll have to see about the surprises part, but I mean, I think we, we put on a pretty good showing, but uh, we can do better. Okay, and uh, so uh, the playoff stage for your team starts with the game against OG. Um, what do you feel about this competition? Um, I mean, they're an extremely good team. They, um, they have some sort of TI magic. They're obviously a very good team outside of TI, but whenever TI rolls around, they're just even better. They, they take it to the next level. So um, it'll be a good series. They're a very tough opponent, but you know, we'll try our best. Um, it's a rematch for a lot of my teammates as they played them last year in the same, uh, same round. So you know, maybe, maybe we can get some revenge. Uh, for me, as a viewer, it seems like OG is a very tough team for um, getting to their play style. Yes, they are uh, uh, chaotic sometimes, they look, um, they are just playing different data. They do a lot of active things, maybe they look sometimes pretty strange, but still they are, are really organized well. Um, uh, how, do you, uh, how do you prefer to uh, maybe set up your game for their play style, or you don't think about that a lot? You're just going to focus on your game, as, uh, on just only your game. Uh, I mean, I think there's a little bit of both. I think you, you know, you think about some of their special heroes, and you maybe address them, come up with some things that you think are good answers. But I think for the most part, you want to be thinking about your own game, and you know, being able to play good Dota, play the way you think the game should be played, and you know, hope that that matches up well against what they do. They definitely um, do some un unorthodox things sometimes, but I think there's definitely a, a method to their madness, and you just sort of have to, you know, play your game and uh, you know see what happens. Okay, and um, some brief questions about TI. Uh, you were a participant in the previous year. Um, uh, can you just um, compare uh, TI eight to TI nine? Um, as um, are there any differences for you as a player, despite the fact that this one is located in Sh in Shanghai, outside of the North America? Um, I mean, I think I'm. I, I, as a player, feel much better. I think I'm, I'm a lot better than I was last year. Um, I, you know, get a lot less, stre a lot less stressed. Um, I think I'm generally just, you know, more experienced in the scene. I guess that's, you know, what an extra year will do for you. Um, so, you know, hopefully, I'm able to go out and, you know, just uh, be myself, and try my best, and feel like, you know, I came away and, and, you know, put on, put on a good show, whether you know, win or lose. Do you like the place? Do you like the Shanghai? Have you seen the city, maybe, or are you just focused on uh, practicing? Uh, I mean, I've been here to this hotel specifically, and then also to Shanghai a couple times before for DSC and Super Major. So, I mean, I like Shanghai a lot. Um, I think it's you know it's a very pretty city. Uh, I have been able to walk around some the previous few times, but not here so far. I've been you know just playing. Um, yeah, I think Shanghai is really nice. It's, it's cool to be here again. Okay, uh, let's go back to the moment when your roster was signed by the new organization. Can you uh, take us back and describe the process of signing? Um, how did it uh, go? So um, you were you. Uh, 
um, you got out of the Forward Gaming organization and then uh, you were trying to find some or you just uh, got an offer from Newbie and you liked it? How um, did you go? I mean, it's sort of a combination of both of them, right? You some org see a team that doesn't have an org anymore, they're going to TI, you know, it's, it's very... Um, very appetizing. For, that's not the word I was looking for, but it's close enough. <laughs> um, and you know, we also would like to have an org representing us for, for TI. So it's you know a little bit of both orgs. You know, maybe offering us sometimes us reaching out to orgs. You know, a combination of the two. And you know, you're just looking for you know who you think will give you uh, the best support, who will be able to um, you know to give you the best shot to do well at TI. And we felt that was newbie. For Russian analysts, as they uh, consider, there were some pros and some cons of being signed by an organization. Um, you may keep uh, maybe a better price pool for your roster if you wasn't signed for newbie, or um, just pros of being signed are much uh, much better than pros of being not signed. Um, I mean, I think for us, we, we felt like felt like going with newbie was was our best option. As opposed to being, you know, not part of an org. And right now, being signed by a Chinese organization, actually, as uh, you've been to Shanghai many times, uh, do you feel any additional um, support from Chinese audience? Maybe you feel a loyalty of people, of local people here. Um, it's sort of hard to say so far since we haven't played on the main stage yet. But you know, we'll see how the crowd reacts. Um, you know, hopefully, hopefully they support us. That'd be that'd be very cool. Um, you know, and even if they don't, we're going to go out there and uh, and try our best. Yeah, we'll definitely have a look. Um, I got some personal questions for you, as you are one of the one of the people that are um, that get a lot of attention from Russian viewers and from Russian analysts as well. As you are considered to be you know, by my colleagues one of the most prospective mid lane players uh, in the world right now, and I agree with them. Actually, um, do you agree with this point of view right now? Uh, I mean, it's hard to say. There's a lot of really, really good players at this game, and sort of the you know one of the harder things about Dota is that everybody is trying just as hard as you to improve and to you know to be the best. So to say how good you are, I don't know. It sort of depends on the, the day, depends on who you're playing against, depends on how you slept. There's a lot of factors, um, you know, the matchup. So you know, I just I just go out there and try and not think about that too much, and just try and you know play my breast and you know improve that slight bit faster than everybody else is improving. But how do you feel? Are you far uh, enough for? Um from your highest point of being as a player, or uh, or you are playing your maximum. I hope I'm not at my maximum. But I don't know. We'll have a we'll have a look definitely. Um, there was a moment in this DPC season where uh, you stand stood in uh, as a player of Evil Geniuses. You managed to succeed at MDL Macau, and um, at this moment we thought that uh, you are being um, as a player of a big organization, as a pretty talented and. Um, titled uh, organization. Um, you performed so well, so uh, a lot of people talking that you are playing uh, a bit better maybe than uh, your teammates. Don't you feel that you are just outstanding uh, in this roster right now? Um, I don't think so at all. I think all my teammates are very, very good. I think whenever you play on a team like EG, a team of that caliber, the, the players on the team make you look better, um, I think for sure. Like, I think I was able to play much better than I had in the past at Macau because I think they, um, yeah, they were they were able to like lift me up. They made the game easier for me. They you know helped me make better decisions, and I think that's why uh, at MDL like I, I, I looked good. So I think EG made me look a lot better. Um, but I definitely don't think I'm above my teammates in any way. I think they're they're all very very good players, and uh, you know we're going out there as a unit. Okay, uh, we have two parts uh, left uh, in our interview. The first one is Blitz. I'm going to ask you quick questions, and uh, you can answer not pretty quick, but as uh, as you feel it. Um, okay, uh, let's begin. Uh, who is going to win in Arcana voting, Ogre or Wind Ranger? Wind Ranger. Okay. Um, name uh, the roster of Team Infamous. Stinger, Schofield, Hector, Chris Brown, or Chris Locke, sorry, and uh, Whisper. Uh, yes, you're right. Great. Um, who is your favorite hero? Uh, maybe Ember or Tia. Okay, and who is your most successful hero? Like win rate in pubs? Um, might be like Spectre or something. Okay, uh, let's go next. Um, what is the price pool of TI right now? Like 33 million? Yeah, you're right. Uh, a bit more, but uh, that doesn't matter. Um, who is the best, uh, who is currently the best player of Dota 2 in Pro C? Hmm. Ah, that's a tough one. Maybe like. 
just how do you feel? It's uh, there is no right answer, you know. There sure, are sure, a lot sure, of sure. Um, maybe Ame. Oh, that's um, that's surprising. Uh, is there a need in um, uh, doing a guide for a brewmaster? How do you feel? Um, yes or no? It's just a meme in Russia. Nah. Okay, um, and uh, what is your favorite caster's phrase in Dota 2? I like the uh, the LD one, the ding, ding, ding. Ding, 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 mother. Oh, oh. Okay, uh, who's going to be the winner of TI9? Newbie. Newbie. Who's going to be the winner of TI10? Newbie. Also newbie. Okay, here it is. Um, uh, thank you so much for coming here. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, CCNC, a player of newbie. Uh, Continue watching our videos on our YouTube channel. Goodbye, everyone.